Happy birthday, Philly. I love you to death, buddy. Crystal Coast Oysters would not be what it is today without you. I'm excited for the future. And us together pretty much can do anything we want. So, love you, buddy. Beautiful Friday. Now we are going to check on our orange bag babies. Basically, you can clean. Could be a... It looks like there's orange bags in there, maybe. It's too close. It's far too close, dude. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, we get this. Sometimes you find a mystery cage. Do I risk it? Stick this thing underwater for an underwater view? Ooh, all right. Got ourselves a cage. All right, let me grab the drill. Here, put it back on here. I'm going to grab the drill. Let's just see what it is. It's going to be just a random old drill. One benefit of low tide is you don't have to pull any of these things up. Oh, oh. I know what these are. It looks like. Is it yours or mine? I think it's mine. Just my hand over. Pick it up. These are big boys. Good example. <laughs> yeah. What line is this? This is line two. These are potentially massive shepherd's points, big boys that will be coming to Wilmington soon. Those will sell these as steamers. He'll sell these as steamers. Basically, I've forgotten about cage. But still live to what we got here. I'm about to stick this thing under the water to just fucking see if it is actually waterproof. What we got here, we're looking at, ooh, the fouling on us. We are here. Ooh, you can see they're starting to pop out of that thing. So what we're trying to do, this is actually our second time this week checking on them. But ooh, okay. And you see, this is what we're looking for. We got a little crab attack here, but that's okay. It's just fine. We got it. And we're going to go ahead and empty these bad bitches out. Nope, I can't curse on here. All right. So what we got here is what you saw us put out a couple weeks ago. This is um goo mill bags, highly scented stuff here. Oh my. So that is no longer a two mill oyster. That's a big ass oyster actually for two mil. Look at that. Thing. This is most excellent. But what's not most excellent is you can see all that mud. So we're kind of cutting it close with this, but you'll watch how we handle that. But everything looks Excellent, that two mil seed we got from uh, Perfect. So this is a better example of what these two mils can do in a few weeks. I don't even, I, I'd have to look at a calendar, but like, look at these, they're big. Those Philly, you remember how tiny those went in? And they're gorgeous. OSH did a very good job with these, so. And that's what it's, like they pop like this when the cage has no squirts. When it gets mud and squirts, and we come out and wash them, maybe we miss this cage, but these squirts, they just like low the growth. They're still popping in there, but like, this is beautiful. So, so with the squirt wars going on, you can see this bag has just got so much mud on it. It's really all the food, but the oysters in it have slowed to growth. Now we picked up a cage that's been scrubbed and cleaned, and they look like that. They're nice. Went, and this is almost a perfect example. I pulled this stuff out of there. It went in there the size of a grain of sand. Now some of this stuff is bigger than six millimeter in just a few weeks, maybe two weeks. It's insane. We have like Flupsy or the, the upwellers and I don't think that they can get this kind of growth as this just being out in the wild can that quickly. So I scooped out a random sample and like I'm not seeing much two mil. That's even probably doubled in size to four. So some of these, I don't even know what that is, but I'd say six, nine, 10 millimeter seed. So five X in two weeks, that is exponential growth. That also makes a very, very happy scuttler and another happy scuttler. It's a good way to buy seed for a decent price and that it works. Um, and it's kind of a nice thing. You just come out and pick them up on Fridays or you know, slide it into your schedule, but excellent. Oh, so where that pole was, was where we used to have the floating shed. I don't know where that pole is. Oh yeah, right there. The shed that's at the end of the dock used to stay out here on this lease um but been coming out and in the bags these, little, these are our 1.5 millimeter bags that we showed you we were putting seed into the half a millimeter well i'm very happy to report that they have 5x in size we took a sample and you saw some of them are 10 millimeters large now what we're doing is we're gonna look at that i don't know if you can see if this is actually 4k or whatnot but dude some of these are well over 10 millimeters and all we needed for them to do was get to four millimeters for this to be a profitable investment slash experiment 
Now what we did, we bought 500,000. So there's 500,000 in these bags. We are going to decide on how to manage them from here based on once we get them out of the bags. Some of the problems that we're gonna have to deal with, bat. This bag stayed clean, so they'll fall out quickly. These ones, you'll see um, that they get stuck when we're trying to pour them out. So most of our mortality doesn't come from death, it comes from us handling them. Super low space usage to grow this many oysters. I think we got them for, I don't even know how much cheaper than six millimeter seed, but maybe a few hours of labor went into this and they got them to this. We're gonna put a Friday into it and then, but I'm telling you all those days added up still makes us a good deal. And you get faster growing oysters sometimes when you buy them in two mil, cause you're getting the first of the stuff. So a lot of benefits, but good Friday. Eight small seeds to tedious. It's just so hard to get every little little bit out of the bag, out of these little bags. They're so small and they get stuck in these corners right here. Phil's got OCD, so yeah. it's, it's tough for him. If you really want to try and save them all, it's difficult. Me, I don't care. I do, but see, it's cheap, so we're a good balance. Your overall net positive is live oysters. Lots and lots of live oysters. You can start throwing them into here. So we're taking off all the tops and we are about to pour these guys into those black bins back there. We're gonna see how easy it is to pour them. Sometimes if you get to them right on time, they'll fall right out and you won't have a lot stick. And that'll keep down on the overall loss of them. Also, letting everything dry out in the sun for the day ain't a bad idea. So, some of the madness of these is trying to get the oysters actually out of the bag. You almost can't get them all. But, this is the first bag we pulled out. Uh, this stuff was two millimeter three weeks ago. And like I said, there's some 10 millimeter stuff in there. That's nine, 10 millimeter stuff. Same with that. I mean, it's just massive. So, all of these into these, and then we're gonna put them through the vibrating table. So me and Phil have only poured out four bags, and they're already more volume than was sent to us in three weeks ago. And we have probably 80 bags to go. So, the volume growth is just absolutely insane. Really healthy stuff. Oyster seeds holdings, it's not let us down once again. But the volume is just, it's gonna be a lot of bags going out. All right, so I got the first little chunk of seed out of those bags. So the name of the game is get the small ones separated from the little, the bigger ones. You've got this kind of makeshift um, table sorter kind of deal. It's been actually a year since we, we skipped two mills last year. And then you almost have to like pick her up. Alright, so we're having to pull an audible real quick. It realized these things are getting stuck in here. And this vibrating table folds and it's sort of properly is uh, practically killing them. So, audible, actually everything into these clean bags and then give them three more weeks and hopefully get them into four mils. And ideally, cut out vibrating trays. I think that might actually kill a lot of small stuff. So, I know that there's gonna be different sizes mixed together for until we can put them through the actual tumbler. But I think that blow some down, speed some up, which is a good way to diversify so they all don't come at the same time market. And then also, I think we like the less we actually have to vibrate or shake them, the more survival. So this is what we're gonna try with this. These babies will just go right into two mil bags, even though I know there's some big oysters in there, but it'd be fine in a clean, low density environment. So got four mils to put them in, but I did and I shook them and too much stuff was coming out. So I think that's also would create a loss as well. So this is gonna be the path we're trying. Hopefully she works. Two mil bags we're gonna use. I'm just gonna make sure they're nice and clean. 
before we put them out. Happy oysters. Clean cages, happy oysters. Clean bags, so just quickly knock this out. It's gonna save me from having the vibrator, uh, throw them with the vibrator, so I think it's smarter to allocate the time to this. At least I know I won't lose any, and I'll give them more time to grow. So that's the plan. Won't lose many to, and this should be quick, so. That's exactly one of the reasons why we always just keep all types of gear around because you can really change your strategy based on what's happening that day um, and whatever the mission is. So this is what we're doing today. Got these bad boys pressure washed mostly and then found some other ones. I think I got a hundred of these two mil bags here and some slides for the top. We are now just going to put them in there without sorting them or tumbling them and see how this works in about three weeks. Hopefully they'll go into four mils after that orange bags and we did not tumble or sort but we moved them into clean two millimeter bags that we're zipping up and we're just gonna load them into clean to dried out cages on the other boat bring them back let them drop let them sit for a few weeks and come back and check them again looks like we might be getting some rain possibly now that we got them all loaded in those bags we're gonna take fresh, clean cages and really dried out cages. She's all loaded up. It's only 10 cages, but there's half a million oysters in there. We've got eight little two mil bags in each and they're relatively clean and happy and healthy and ready to go. All the oysters are done, cleaned off. It's Friday, Phil's hoeing the boat. Week's done. Good week. Good week. What you do to me is in confliction, a straight contradiction with my mind. Guilty pleasure has a bit of taste in the end, my friend. Are you sure you want to fight? What do you have to say, Skittler? It's Keith on Skittler. Is interested in patience.